right, welcome to the Vault Report, Georgetown edition. I'm here once again with assistant coach Jeff Battle. Appreciate the time. You know, you guys are 4-2 and two on the season. Last time we talked, you guys hadn't uh, played a game yet. I know this might be a loaded question, but kind of where do you feel like the staff is, you know, at this point, six games in? Well, we're still growing. We're still developing. You know, we're still evolving into who we want to be moving forward. Um, but we still continue to trying to get better each game. Um, you know, we had a couple of hiccups, but for the most part, we feel like we're getting better. We feel like we're moving forward as we get healthier, get more of our guys, more hands on deck. We feel like we can, you know, continue to move forward and uh, push the needle in the direction that we want to that we want to go in. Absolutely. You know, you mentioned, you know, those hiccups, you know, you had a difficult loss, you know, at home to Holy Cross, followed by that road loss to Rutgers. You know, they often say, you know, you kind of find out and find what people a team is made of through adversity, having those two kind of back to backs back-to-back, I don't want to say setbacks, just losses. You know, what did you learn, you guys as a staff, kind of learn about your team and how do you feel like they responded, obviously, you know, with, with three wins following? Well, we learned a lot. You know, you, you, we learned what we have to get better at. Um, I think they learned as well what we're we're about moving forward, the things that we've been kind of demanding and and asking them to do in games and, and that kind of thing. So it, it's a learning process. And so – you know, the, the ideal thing is to continue to get better. You know, I know it sounds, you know, cliche-ish, but that's that's really what we've done. And since those two, you know, games that you alluded to, we feel like we've gotten better in certain areas and we're continuing to grow in other areas. And so I feel like as we get healthier and we get our guys back and, and get everybody into the stable, you know, we'll continue to move forward. Absolutely. And, you know, Epps has delivered some, I mean, really unbelievable offensive performances you know, <clears throat> early on. Um, you know, specifically against, you know, American, how important, you know, can a moment, I don't want to say huge moment, but just to watch a guy do what he did, especially at the end of the game, to win that game in overtime, no matter what the opponent is, what that can do, you know, just for the morale, you know, for a team that, again, is learning, is, you know, is new uh, as you guys move forward, but just to have that, you know, those types of games. Yeah, it means a lot, especially for him. You know, he's, you know, new to us and and he's still figuring out, you um, how we want to utilize him and how we do things and um, how he can be successful in our system. And so to see him, you know, kind of step up and, and, and be a leader in that situation is big time. And so uh, he's a very good player. He's developing. Uh, he's going to continue to get better. He's, he's learning every day, like we alluded to. And, um, you know, we're expecting big things from him, but I'm very proud of him because, you know, again, for him to step up in those moments, he's been, he's been kind of our, closer, if you will, and, and, and continually making big shots um, on, on the offensive end. So, um, you know, hopefully he can continue. But we all have to continue to get better. We have to give him some help. Other guys have to step up and, and score uh, and do other things on the defensive side of the ball as well. Yeah, and I was going to ask about that defensively. You know, both effort and, you know, schematically, what you guys are trying to do. How do you feel, you know, specifically, how do you feel – or where the team is, I should say, defensively. But what what is the kind of the the non-negotiables as a staff you guys are trying to kind of implement with this team defensively, which you guys have obviously struggled at times this season? Yeah, well, it comes down to, you know, it's 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 basic fundamentals, really, when you look at it. At the end of the day, it's 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 containing the ball, you know, having pride and guarding the ball. Uh that keeps you out of rotations and and um, you know, it keeps you, you know, keeps your defense compact, but you don't have to rotate and you don't give up threes. You're not in scramble mode all the time. And so, you know, guarding the ball, you know, it, it's as simple as that. Be, having pride and containing your guy, um, locking into the scouting report, his tendencies, what he likes to do, taking that away. Uh, we're a big scout or, oriented organization. And so we, we take a lot of pride in that, but you know, the fundamentals, you know, guarding the ball, rebounding the ball, those are areas that we've got to continue to get better at. Um, we're not a big a big team right now, physically size wise or whatever. But you know that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't deter us from being aggressive uh, on the glass as well. It's not how big you are; it's how big you play. And so we got to get tougher on that end, tougher guarding the ball, and and, and tougher on the glass. Yeah, and, and you you kind of mentioned you talking about kind of scouting and, and what they you know see on the scouting report. How much at this point in the season, especially with this group, is about you know kind of implementing and doing what you guys need to do and, you know, looking at the opposing team and, and preparing for them. You know, I, I, I imagine that can kind of change throughout the season, you know, but how, how is that right now in the season in terms of the focus of, again, 
improving what you guys need to do and then schematically looking ahead, you know, to a team like Merrimack you guys are playing next? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a balance. You know, you want to continue to get better at what you do, but also be prepared for who you're playing against as well. So it's a fine line. Um, we have to continue to, you know, at the end of the day, what we do is really important. Um, but I think we do a good job as a staff and Coach Cooley of of balancing not to give them too much on the other team, but enough to be prepared to win the game. But also we want to be able to execute what we do as well. So I think we do a good job of balancing that, you know, um, you know, both of those situations. Definitely. And, you know, lastly, update, I don't know if you can give an update or just how, you know, how you talked about health, you know, so a guy like Ish, obviously an integral part, uh, you know, uh, important piece you guys brought in, um, you know, any update on him or, and how is he doing, you know, not just physically, but mentally as any athlete, you know, has to go through in terms of recovering. Well, he's doing fine. He's doing, um, he's ahead of schedule. Um, we're expecting him back any day now and um, it'll be a welcome, you know, to get him back because, I think the last time we spoke, I told you what he brings to the table, not just as a player, but he's a he's a great locker room guy. He's a leader. He's vocal. Uh, he's played a lot of basketball. He's played in a lot of high level games. And so, you know, having his voice back and his leadership is going to be something that um, is going to be really important to us moving forward. So, um, you know, and also, you know, Rowan, you know, we'll, we'll get him back too. you know, he was ill, didn't play the last game. So hopefully he'll be back um, in time for Mary Mac. Uh, as well. So we're getting there where we're starting to get everybody back, um, you know, to, to start moving forward here as we start playing some, you know, moving forward into this, into the December games and league play as well. Absolutely. And I, I might've said last question for real last question, you know, obviously there there's ups and downs throughout the season, being a new staff coming in, you know, we we've talked at length, you know, even in the off season about what you guys are trying to implement there, not just on the court, but off the court. You know, how do you feel like the buy-in in terms of the players are, uh, again, a season that, you know, is going to have their ups and downs, but just in terms of, you know, not just how they play, but just off the court in terms of how engaged they are as a unit, you know, how do you feel about that, you know, six games in? I feel great about that. I think our chemistry is really good. I think the guys really enjoy each other. They look, enjoy being around each other. Um you know, like I said, that the time off the court that they spend and, and even how they come into practice together, you can kind of read that when you've been coaching a long time. The chemistry is really good. They pull for each other. Um, we And we've just been pleased all around with their effort. Their attitudes have been great. You know, we're not coaching problems and stuff like that. So from that standpoint, it's been it's been really good. we got a great group. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, reap the benefits of that with some wins moving forward. Absolutely. Well, listen, Coach, thank you for the time as always. I look forward to checking in. I'm I'm size 11. You can send me each of those pairs uh, <laughs> if, if you'd like. <laughs> um, but thank you as always. Uh, no problem, man. Thanks for having me.